Hopefully there won't be crosswords in the kitchen today as these two put their cooking skills to the test. Meet 25-year-old makeup artist Edith and her boyfriend, 26-year-old business entrepreneur Martin. We're like the Essex version of um, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Yeah, we live in Essex. Yeah. <laughs> like their A-list doppelgangers, for these two it's all about appearance. I think we're both lucky to be good looking. And modest. Give me cute. I think that's confused. I love her fashion, I love her dressing sense. For some reason, we always do matching colours. And it's just a coincidence. It's not like we've planned, planned it or anything. It, yeah. But great, great minds think alike, eh? I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On with the cooking and a menu reflecting their cultural heritage. Where we're both Nigerian, it only makes sense to keep it traditional and, you know, make the traditional African dishes that we love to eat ourselves. And from the southern Sahara comes the starter, lamb kebabs with plantain. It's not really a lot you can do with the lamb what? other than, than just, like, put it in a bit of spice, I guess. Yeah, but you can put and pieces they... of plantain in pieces. Oh, but I'm giving them tips. Yeah. Come on, harder. Oh, yeah. Our second couple are Dominican Republic-born Anna, 50, and hubby Ian, 54. They met on the internet and think they're proof that opposites attract. At the beginning, our friends would look at us and it's like, how? <laughs> this happened? <laughs> but it happened. Latin power! I'm quiet sometimes. Yeah, when? I have my moments. Uh, yeah, when you're asleep. <laughs> Back with Edith, who's marinating her lamb in some authentic and fiery African spices. Everything throughout is going to be spicy, so even the starter has to be spicy. With the lamb in the oven, Edith turns her attention to the vegan option. No, it smells of nothing. <laughs> Tofu on a stick um, with a bit of vegetables, no skill involved, not dinner party food. No, I don't agree. I think it could be amazing. <laughs> Our third and final pairing are music producer Danny and wife Shira. Definitely a couple of big kids. Definitely. 100%. <laughs> I reckon other couples might find us either overpowering, but hopefully not. Let's go! Come on, Shira! Together for 28 years, Danny and Shira think straight talking is the key to their lasting relationship. When we speak, we just say it as it is. We do not filter anything. We love honesty. Not only to each other, but to everyone else. To everyone else. Hmm, I wonder how that'll go down. Yeah. In the kitchen, Martin's doing the tofu taste test. It tastes of nothing. You won't say that when Edith's finished with it. It's gonna be spicy. Tofu turbocharged. It's assembly time. Eat lime, onions, peppers. Hey. Lamb, onions, peppers. The lamb, onions, peppers, hey, will be served with fried plantain. I hope they're not going to think it's going to be too spicy. I definitely did make them spicy. And the next African dish to delight is vegan strawberry cheesecake. Uh, I've had vegan cheesecake before and it does not taste like cheese. It's an easy dessert, but it's also uh, boring. Che cheesecake's quite difficult to make with fresh strawberries. Because it doesn't matter if you do it good or bad, it's always bad. Ah, but you haven't tried Martin's. For the base, he's using cashews, dates, coconut and almonds. The vegans are definitely going to go nuts for this. Unintended. <laughs> <laughs> the nutty mix is blitzed, then bodged in a tin. Perfect. For the substitute cheese layer, maple syrup is added to coconut cream, nuts and honey. Tell me stop. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. For the topping, strawberries are bunged in the blitzer with even more nuts. Oh, well, how are you going to do that without the plate? <laughs> what a donut. <laughs> topping on and Martin's first ever vegan dish is done. I'm very proud of him, I'm not going to lie. A quick put selfie. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. And on to the main. Nigerian prawn fried rice with pineapple and chicken and a prawn and chicken free version for the vegans. I like the, the, the idea of Nigerian, because that suggests spicy yeah, to me. Yeah, that does. That yeah. does sound like yeah. flavoured rice. I'm up for that. Edith begins by preening her poultry. You don't want hair on your food. I think this is hair. Hair? I meant was feathers, but they're the same thing, so sue me. Chicken exfoliated, authentic African spices join the party. Why are there only four chickens? Because they're vegans. The other two are vegans. Oh, well, yeah. I totally forgot. Gosh. Remember? You made a vegan cheesecake? We might no, be eating no, out no. of pineapple. No, it's Which, not going to be like that. I bet you. I don't know. I bet you want something. <laughs> you owe him a grand. 
really don't need the pineapple if I'm totally honest with you. But it looks better and it's all about presentation. Absolutely, and it saves on washing up. Next, Edith fries rice with mixed veg and onions, bungs in prawns, and that's all the prep done.